subscapers and welcome to the dealing with Scabaras quest guide. The requirements are contact, the feud, sugar flesh eaters, 21 fire making, 50 agility, 60 thieving, 60 strength. The recommendations are 60 crafting and 43 prayer. The item requirements are around 31k coins for magic carpet rights and bronze items below. Put on combat equipment and remember runes or ammo. We will get the Akthangi Dung, which is untradeable after these requirements. If you have one red hot sauce in your bank, bring that and one empty bucket. Otherwise, bring an empty bucket and one empty inventory slot. You also need 10 gold artifacts from Pyramid Plunder activity. You can buy those from the Grand Exchange, paying a little bit over price or get them from Pyramid Plunder activity, use the wiki for that one. One Pyramid Top from the Agility Pyramid, it is obtainable during the quest. 18 random bronze armors or weapons, they are random for each player and viable during the quest. But otherwise you can have 36 bronze bars in your metal bank to make them later yourself. The recommendations are 1 rope, 6 logs, 1 to 2 good food, luck of the dwarves ring or ring of fortune or ring of wealth to get to grand exchange, one polnivich teleport scroll or use the magic carpet rights, an amulet of glory, two saffonem Slayer dungeon teleports or lodestone to menaphos, if you are low level, bring combat stat boosting potion or super restore and have some quick teleport charges from pitchbacks, and lastly, there are enemies between level 67 to 92. Let's go! To start off, use the Polnivich scroll or magic carpet rights to travel to South Polnivich. Talk to the kebab seller west of the fountain. Option 3. If you don't get the source, it's in your bank. Go southwest into the camel pen and use the source into the trough. Wait a little bit for the camels to do their thing. Pick up the dung. If it's not brown, Add some more sauce. When you get the dung, use the Sophonym Slayer Dungeon Teleport or Lodestone to Menaphos and head east. The building is the one with the prayer altar icon. Talk to High Priest, option 1, accept the quest. Climb up the ladder. After the cutscene, talk to Maisa, option one. Talk to High Priest. Go north through the Sophonem gates at the very north. After going through the gates, head east towards the Agility Pyramid. Q 
keep going east from the agility pyramid and there should be the agility shortcut. If you have it unlocked with a rope, you can use that. Otherwise we will need to go around. So if we are going around, keep going southeast while following the rock wall. Go around to north. Climb up the fallen pillar next to the stairs. Go northwest. Climb over the rocks and use the rope to the rock, so we have an agility shortcut in the future. Climb over the low wall. East, talk to the archaeologist. Select option 1 and 3, and after the Third chat option, do not spacebar, but instead read the questions carefully and calculate the math question answers. Always round the number down and make sure you get all of the questions right. After the questions, talk to the archaeologist and you will get an empty crate. Go west, climb up the wall and use the rope shortcut. Go west and talk to Simon Templeton. Option 1. Option 1. Option 1. Go through the agility pyramid. Look out for the moving objects. Don't be in front of them or otherwise you will fall down. Keep going up the agility pyramid until you make it to the very top. And please do not forget to actually grab the agility pyramid top.
I'm back. Take the agility pyramid top just as a reminder. Jump over the gap and use the doorway to exit. Go west, talk to Simon, option one. Option one. Option one. Open up your quest log. You will see different bronze items being requested. You can either buy them from the Grand Exchange or make them yourself at an anvil. After that, we are using the Amulet of Glory, rubbing it to al -Kharid. and while standing in the desert area, you need to use the Akthan Ki Dung to the bronze items, which will turn them into oxidized version. If you are low on inventory space, you can always do half of the items at a time. You can deposit the logs into the bank for now, Use the oxidized items to the crate. Make sure all of the items go into the crate. And take the six logs back from the bank. And after that, use the magic carpet rights to Narda. To get back to Simon. Use the field crate to Simon. After you get a scrap note, go east and use the agility shortcut we unlocked earlier. Climb over the wall and Go back to the archaeologists. Talk to one of the archaeologists to get a book. And we will kill four different types of monsters. They all drop a different version of a note. And if you right click the note and examine, it should say different kinds of stuff. So the mummies on the west should say well made papyrus. Make sure to right click the notes and add them to the book. Zombies are northeast from the archaeologists. T 
empty notes should be saying shabby papyrus. The skeletons are north of the archaeologists. The notes should say fine papyrus. Lastly, locust lancers are east of the archaeologists. The notes should say scented papyrus. After you have copied all of the notes into the book, get back to the archaeologists. Talk to the archaeologist for a key. Go north and climb down. You can remove fuel from the storage box for some extra logs. Right click any type of log and use them to the fireplace north of you. You might need to click the furnace to light it up as well. Go south and talk to the column. Option 3. Option 4. Option 1. Option 2. Before we do this, I will show you how to go through the rooms because this is a limited time thing, and don't worry about the time. It will start when you add the logs to the furnace, but don't do that yet. This is the demonstration. First you add the logs, go to the room, which is the northeastern one. Cross the plank, pull the lever. Go to the southeastern room. Pull the lever. Go to the northwestern room. Kill the scrap and pull the lever. Southwestern room, this is the hardest one. Investigate the mysterious mechanism. Right click the cog wheel on the right. Manipulate them and right click the switches below the cog wheel. Take a screenshot of the puzzle. You can full screen the video and take a screenshot of the footage I have. Open it up in a paint and either write the two letters of the symbols or draw the symbols. This is a memory puzzle game. You need to get three of the same symbol right. And after that you choose another set of three symbols and that way complete the entire puzzle. But my method is first to figure out where everything is and after that match up the symbols three at a time. You need to be fast as possible and this is the method that works best for me. 
So I would recommend you to do this or an Excel spreadsheet. When you are ready, you will do it yourself. Let's do it for real now. First you add the logs. Go to the room, which is the northeastern one. Cross the plank. Pull the lever. Go to the southeastern room. Pull the lever. Go to the northwestern room. Kill the scrap and pull the lever. Southwestern room. This is the hardest one. Investigate the mysterious mechanism. Right click the cog wheel on the right. Manipulate them and right click the switches below the cog wheel. Take a screenshot of the puzzle. You can full screen the video and take a screenshot of the footage I have. Open it up in a paint and either write the two letters of the symbols or draw the symbols. This is a memory puzzle game. You need to get three of the same symbol right. And after that you choose another set of three symbols and that way complete the entire puzzle. But my method is first to figure out where everything is and after that match up the symbols three at a time. You need to be fast as possible and this is the method that works best for me. So I would recommend you to do this or an Excel spreadsheet.
I'm back. If you did everything correctly, the door to west should open. If it didn't go well, you need to relight the furnace, rewind the video and attempt the puzzle rooms again. Anyways, go through the west door all the way to the northwestern corner, which has a room with an NPC in it and it has also a bunch of statues. Talk to the NPC. Option two. Option two. Attack the NPC and you will get more chat dialogue after. Option 4, Option 1. Talk to the High Priest again. Option 4, Option 1. Defeat the NPC. More chat dialogue after. Option 4. Option 2. Defeat the NPC. More chat dialogue later. Option 4. Option 1. Return to the High Priest in Sofanem by either using the Slayer Dungeon Teleport or Menaphos Slowstone and go east. Talk to the High Priest. Congratulations. There's additional stuff with the Scabaras Research book for Master Quest Cape and Dream Comp Cape, but you can get rid of it and get it later back from a book case in your player owned house. Remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe and see you in the next one.